Welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We're going to do the tune I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry by Hank Williams. I already did a beginner version of this tune, like a very basic version of it that follows the vocal melody. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to play the fiddle break that happens in the original recording. All right? So it's pretty challenging. If you're a beginner, definitely hold off on this lesson. Don't do it yet. Um, and so I'm just going to play the entire thing a little more slow, slowly than on the recording. And then we're going to break it down part by part. And there's a lot of double stops in the tune. I'll probably show it to you without double stops and then show you how to add double stops. And go part by part that way through it, just so you know how we're going to approach it. Okay, so here it goes. Pretty fancy stuff. Um, good tune though, really fun tune. And uh, um, so let's see. You can warm up to this by doing the E major scale. You could also play some E major chords, like play your D1, your D1, E1 together. So D1 and A1 together. Because a lot of what we're going to do to add double stops is droning notes. And so these will be the notes we drone. And also be able to play G2 and D1 together. That makes an E major chord, like a power chord. And then D1 and A1 together does that. And then A1 and open E together. So playing those chords will set pave the way. You can also do A major, which is G1 and D1. Or D1 and A open. I'll try to remember to put a link to chords below, but as warm up, that'll help you a lot. Um, oh, I just thought of something else. You can kind of do the um, E major scale with droning A1. And then joining open E when you play the notes on the A. All right, all right. So now let's get started with the tune. I'm going to play the first quarter of the A part without double stops, very slowly with finger diagrams. And then we're going to talk about how it works a little bit and then add back the double stops. Here it is with more flow. Let me do it again. I think that's closer to the original. And by the way, um, take this as, you know, I listen to it, I listen to it slowed down a little bit, but you know, it may be a little different than what I'm showing you, but I'm trying to faithfully reproduce it just as an exercise, okay? So um, there's a lot, and there's also many ways one could play this break. I thought it would be cool to learn this original way. Okay, so let's do the second quarter of the A part. Oh no, sorry. Let's let's first do, do that. I think we're gonna, I'll just stick to the plan of showing you how to do the double stops as we go. So we, we got this much. So we're going to start by droning um, A1. So that A1's riding all throughout while we're playing on the, on the D string. And 
And then when we go to that G2, I'll hold down D1. So again, these are just playing E chords, the ones we warmed up with. Here's that whole part with double stops. Sounds beautiful. What a nice, pretty t song. Love this song. Okay, let's do the second quarter of this song with no double stops now. Okay, now that was kind of awkward for timing's sake, so I'm going to play it with some flow and hopefully the timing, hopefully the diagrams will help you get the fingerings is what I'm thinking. And, and then the, um, if I play it with flow, you get a little bit more of the timing, alright? So the second quarter with flow. I'll do it again a little bit more slowly with flow. So, um, there are left hand fingerings. Should have told you this earlier. There are left hand fingerings in the description below. Um, it starts, this part starts G2, high 3, D1. Then that little figure of two, high three, two, one, played it that way, also happens in the first quarter, as you recall. All right, so. And those last three notes, two, 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 two high three, two, is a triplet. So we have. It's gonna land on G1. G1 is gonna start the third quarter. So the see, let's play the whole second quarter slowly again. Okay, I think that's good on that. Um, if it's unclear, pause the video, rewind, listen to the parts again then pause and practice on your own. And now with flow for the timing of it. Forget how this might go quicker. Yeah, I think I think it does in the original. I'm not gonna pause the lesson to do it, but I think it, the original goes. Um, it's kind of interesting though. You can do it different ways. You could slow it down instead of. But that second way is how it, I think it happens in the recording. I'll play the third quarter one more time. All right. Oh, and then I'll add double stops to it. So it, with double stops, the third quarter sounds like. So that's just joining G1 and D1. Then when we get to D1, instead we draw an open A. And then when we get to that open A, we're droning open E. All the way up to there. So all the notes on the A use open E as drone. And 
And then um, it kind of works the same in reverse. When we do D high three, two, one, we're droning open A, and then we're droning, and we play G2, we're droning uh, D1. And I just realized now I forgot to add double stops for you on the second quarter. Um, it'll rough, work roughly the same. Except, um, so a G, so I'm going back to the second quarter double stop. We're gonna, instead of having open A, we're gonna have A1. And that's because that's an E, e chord there. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's the only real difference in approach. The second quarter, when you play the notes on the D, you want to draw an A1. When we get to the third quarter and we play notes on the D, we draw an open A. Okay, let's move on and do the fourth quarter of this song. Okay, so now I'm going to play that with flow for timing, so you get the timing better. Okay, so let's see, let's do it, um, let's do it again. So the ending's tricky. High, high three to three, back to three. You can slur them together. And on that, that two, that on D two to high three to two, I recommend slurring those three together. It makes it nice and smooth. And then slurring these two together, the high three, two, one. Slur. And then slur these. All right, so now adding double stops works the same as the rest of it, except for that very end, it gets tricky. All right, so, um, I mean, the whole thing is tricky, and, and if you're a, a beginner student, I, I hope you haven't tried to do this because you're probably miserable by now. Um, but uh, anyhow, it's very challenging. Um, so the, the fourth quarter. This double stops work, it's all E chord. So we land on that A1, we're playing open E. So, so far that's all E chord. There we're on. Um, I actually don't know what the chord there is there. It's B, it's B major. So when we do two, high three, two, you'll drone uh, A1. And there we'll also draw an A1. So, so far with double stops. So this last part, um, an easy way to do it is to when you do, it's not even that easy, but you'll be playing high three on D and A1, and you'll slide both back. 
All right, so that's already pretty hard. But I, th I think the way it's done on the recording is they actually the fiddler actually shifts up to third position, plays instead of playing D high three, he plays that or she plays. I don't know. Probably plays it with um, a first finger, and then instead of playing D one, they play that here on the G string. Pretty sure that's what they're doing. That's very difficult to work in. Alright, so that's, an, that's definitely an advanced thing. One kind of hack, one way to do it more simply if you're more of an intermediate player the end, it sounds cool. You can you can do the way I told you before. Even that's hard. An easier way is just to play D1 and A1 at the end and slide that back. And that still sounds pretty cool, right? I think that works as well. And 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 if all those things are giving you problems. Just don't do the double stop there, you know? Just for now, it's more important that it sounds good, I think. So, you know, versus you trying to do something and it's worth trying to do it, but at a certain point, you just want it to sound good and eventually your technique will catch up. I would much rather hear that than it sound really horrible or whatever. Um, okay, so I think that's it for this tune. Um, maybe I'll do it one more time and uh, you can try to play along with in any way you can. I tell you what, I'm gonna, for the more beginners, I'm gonna play the whole thing without any double stops very slowly so you can at least get a sense of that and then, and then, um, as you get better at it with double stops, you can play, you can, you can use this as a play along track and try those ideas out. So here we go, the whole thing with just single notes. Ah, so sweet. I love these Hank Williams tunes and, and love the way that song, not only the song's great, but they're arranged great. Like the little solos and things are such good, like instructional things on how to play on songs because they're just, they're very melodic. You know, it's, it's not just sort of some crazy thing they're doing. They're, they're just playing like the, the lyrics almost with their instrument. So I, I really think they're great to learn really fun. So anyway, glad you made it to the end and uh, shows persistence. You made it to the end of the lesson and uh, I hope you keep on fiddling and having fun. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.